<laughs> okay, so we're playing the Doge ship, and uh, there's a anniversary where they want to commission the ship. So you and all your other players are shipwrights, and we're competing for the favor of the Doge. So it's a semi-cooperative Euro-style game where you'll still have one ultimate winner. Okay. Um, I like the way the dice are used because in a lot of Euro games the dice don't uh, decide a lot of it. And so for this, uh, the dice, you roll them and it decides how much actions cost. Yeah, and I, I kind of like the, uh, the combos that were made because there's ultimately not that many things to do and then you have this combo just unfold in your lap, and I, I, I like to see uh, synergistic combo mechanics, and that's what I really liked about it. We definitely have to already like Euro games. I don't think it's a very good introductory Euro game, but it's also not hardcore because the dice still do decide a little bit of what happens. I think you could convince someone who hasn't played a Euro game to learn this, but kind of right because the theme will turn off a lot of people. I mean, you're building a ship. I mean, it's a little bit better than farming, but um, it's still just, you're building a ship. It's not killing orcs and goblins and, yeah. and dragons. And there's not a lot of player interactions. There's, other than taking a spot and then nobody else can take it, it's like a lot of Euros where you don't have a lot of direct interaction. Yeah, so, I mean, if you test someone out know that they like euros, this might be a decent option. But it is going to be, like Sarah said, light. I wouldn't mind actually seeing another uh, element thrown in because the mechanics are very light. And between gondolas, galleys, and uh, barriers... Those are the only three things you build the whole game. Yeah, I would like to see a fourth thing that you could build. For an expansion. I think I would like is more ways to earn victory points because the only ways you, you earn victory points are by building the galley pieces and then earning approvals at the end of some rounds you can use the approvals to earn victory points. But there's very few ways to earn victory points and I think if they could expand it to add maybe a new element which would also give you victory points. Well the best moment for me is when I won. <laughs> Honestly, that, that, that is the best moment. Yeah, that would be the best moment. Uh, uh, I think for me, the best moment was when I was able to change the Doge tile to really screw over everybody else. I, mean, I ended up screwing it myself a little bit, but they lost more actions than I did. Um, so Yeah, there's a mechanic where the water comes in, and if you have more barriers, you can protect yourself. Yeah. She was played most of the game behind this massive wall. Mm-hmm. And so when the floodwaters came in, I was completely underwater. Yeah, so you lost two actions, Gary lost two actions, but I only lost one because uh, mine was high enough. Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> I won. He still won. I would definitely play it again. Point, it fits into a lot of the games we like. It reminds me a little bit of Castles of Burgundy or Stone Age with the way that dice are used to affect how you you know, take actions. So I would definitely play it again. It's a nice light Euro game. Yeah, we would buy it mainly because uh, our personal preference is Euro games yeah. and we buy more than we should. Yeah. So we'll ultimately... And we really like a lot of the games uh, Rio Grande has come out with. So um, it's a company we trust. So we'll probably end up playing it and eventually we'll uh, buy it. <laughs>